All perception is from a perspective. Take touch. When I grab an apple, I do so bit by bit. At any point in time, I'm only aware of some aspect of the apple. And the same goes for seeing. When I see the apple, I always see it from some angle. Now I see it from above, now I see it from below, but at no point in time do I get to see the whole of the apple. You could think that this shows that, strictly speaking, I don't see the apple. All I ever get to see is apple parts. Here's a bit of the skin, here's a bit of the stalk. I have a full view only of those parts, and because I see those parts, I count as seeing the apple. This might sound appealing, but there's a problem with this analysis. I would be explaining my incomplete perspective on the apple in terms of a full view or a complete perspective on some of its parts. But why think that we have a full view of any of the apple's parts? If all perception has a perspective, then that would be wishful thinking. Think of this side of the apple. Do I ever get a full view of it? Well, if I bring the apple closer and inspect it from nearby, I might notice details that I didn't see before. So I didn't have a full view. There's no point in trying to capture the perspectival character of perception in terms of parts we do see or do feel. Your perception of the apple is perspectival not because you've got front row seats for seeing some part of it, but because you're stuck with economy tickets for the whole. For those with FOMO, this is a harsh truth. There's no such thing as a complete, full view of things. Perceiving the world means missing out.